Hey guys, it's Susan Seiler from CC Livermore and I thought I would show you the My Body Project my campus did three years ago and um, we're pretty much gonna do the exact same project again this year um, for cycle three. So what we have here for supplies is a 36 inch wide piece of uh, roll of brown paper cut to size for each student. Um, so we would roll it out, trace the student, cut it, bring the next student, pull out the paper to size, trace them, and um, you know, cut it off and roll out another piece and so forth. Uh, 36 inches was great. My son at the time was seven. And so this size paper worked really well for even our older students. But you can see there's a lot of space in here. And so a more narrow piece of paper, I think a 24 inch, I'm sure would also work but I just felt like a 36 inch size would be ideal, but I think a 24 inch would work as well. Okay, so other supplies, of course, crayons. I purchased boxes of 24 count Crayola crayons, the one that are, ones that are 50 cents during the back to school sale. And on the director Facebook page, you can see the alignment that I posted between the 24 box crayons of Crayola and this project. There's nothing magic in the color. You can see the spinal cord was supposed to be gold. And there's nothing magic about it being gold versus being yellow. So we used what was in that box. And it worked out terrific. Crayons produce a nice bright um, color that's easy to put on where colored pencils take more effort to color in to get enough vibrancy in the um, on the actual piece of paper. Okay, so we have our paper, obviously a Sharpie. We have crayons. We have the copies themselves that I did um, enough for each class, gave them to the tutors, and they were responsible for those. What else? Um, three brads. There are three brads that we used one for the small intestine, one for the liver, one for the stomach, and then of course tape. We use lots of tape. And instead of bringing rolls of tape, which I did have those as backups to help um, the classes, especially the younger classes, I went ahead and purchased the pop-up tape dispensers. You wear them on your wrist and they the tape just pops up and you pull it up and it's like a post-it. You just pull it up and then the next piece comes and they're they're a specific length of length, I think about an inch and a half. And it worked great. It worked wonderfully. You can get them, I think they're made by Scotch. You can get them on Amazon or at you know Walmart Target. And those worked really well for me, but the rolls of tape would absolutely be fine. It just, you know, it'll take more parent assistance, I think, to get all the get all the pieces done, all the pieces cut. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so paper, Sharpie, crayons, tape, brads, and then scissors, of course, to cut out each of the body parts per week. And what we did was on week one and two, actually, I think week two and three, we traced the bodies. So we traced them early. I folded them up. You can see the fold lines in the paper. I folded up the paper, put it in the banker's box and put it in my garage. Then each week, the tutors would talk about the body parts, hand out the body parts to the students. The students would color it, write their name on the, uh, no, color it, cut it, then write their name on the back. And each student, um, each the tutor had a nine by 12 envelope for each student. And in that envelope went the student's completed body parts. And um, so they were stored there. The tutors just transported them back and forth each week. Then when it came time to assemble on the final week of the project, it was just, uh, we put out the pieces of paper, got their envelope and set that down. And the assembly instructions are on the director's Facebook page. I posted my my instructions there. And so you can see those along with the color coding for each of the body parts for the 24 count Crayola. 
And then we just assembled the body parts. There were some challenges with assembly, but we're still gonna do the same thing this year. The biggest challenge with assembly were these brads. And the reason these brads were a hassle is because see how big the paper is? And you know, brads, you've gotta punch it in and then you have to pick up this whole big piece of paper. And where are they? There they are. Flatten out the back of the brads. So while that was kind of a hassle, I think it really makes um, the project more interesting and we get to use um, a tool that I don't think, at least in my house, we don't use brads that often. And so it's a good experience for the kids to use those. So some things are only taped in one spot. Like, let's see, what is this? This is the spleen. And the spleen is only taped at the top. The instructions sp spell all that out. And it's only taped at the top so that you can see the kidney underneath. And here's the pancreas. And that's taped in the middle, right here in the middle. So that you can lift up either sides to see the gallbladder which is taped on the, on the top only. Ah, it's hard to do this one-handed, there we go. And so you can lift up and see the right kidney. And then here's the small intestine, the large intestine, the bladder. We did not do the um, reproductive organs. And then of course, the body parts. Oh, and the head. The head is only taped on the top, so you can lift up to see the brain. And here are the lungs, taped at the top so you can see the heart. I hope that is helpful to you and gives you a good picture. Oh, um, as far as how I set up the classroom individually, my classes rotate through a science area. So in order to prepare, I went ahead and bagged up the crayons by week. So because we rotate through a science area, I only needed eight sets of each um, for each week. So I bagged up eight sets of that week's crayons, put them in little baggies and put that in a Ziploc. And that was my, you know, week seven, week eight, week nine. And I just made sure I had enough crayons to cover that. And I bought, I, uh, let's see, there's two weeks that we do um, red, right? We have red kidneys, we have a red heart and we have red muscles. And I just made sure that I had enough red crayons. I just bought extra boxes at 50 cents each to make sure I didn't have to do a lot of um, rotating of supplies, like taking the red crayons out of my bags from week seven and putting them in, you know, week nine, whatever it is, I don't know, but you get the gist because I just needed my life to move more simply. And then um, for setup, I just set out eight small paper plates and put the crayons on that paper plate and and so each student had a paper plate with their own set of crayons. Um, and then the next class would come in and that would already be set up. So hopefully that's clear. Um, leave comments below about maybe things that you've done as a tutor or um, other ideas that you have or questions that you have. Feel free to post in the comments because everybody can see those. And I hope this helped you get a visual for what this project looks like. God bless you and I will see you soon. I will talk to you later.